Are you gonna focus? Are you gonna stay? Who knows? I need my phone for this video. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jocelyn. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I got the wonderful idea to make an updated what's on my iPhone XR video. It has been a while. I did one whenever I first got my phone in March, I believe. So it's been a while. Yeah, so before I get started, I just wanted to say... I don't know what I wanted to say. Oh yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below what phone you have. Let's just get started. I have the iPhone XR. It looks like this. The case is really disgusting. So I have the black iPhone XR. I have a screen protector on. It's like really, really cracked as you can see. It doesn't even look bad on camera, but it's like really, really cracked and scratched. My phone like locks up and stops the screen recording when I start doing recording on my lock screen. Yeah, I'll just put everything right here. So on my homepage, okay, let's talk about my background first of all. So I got this off of Google Images. I just typed in like iPhone XR, like pretty fall backgrounds or something like that and that's what popped up. I don't know, I changed my lock screen and my home screen a lot. So the first thing I have is messages and then I have Snapchat, Instagram, and then calendar, TikTok. TikTok is really addicting, that's why it's right up there on the front home page. Photos, camera, mail, clock, weather, notes, iTunes, and Apple Storm. Then I have my first folder, which is my photo slash like videography photo. Um, yeah, I literally forgot how to talk in this. Jeez, I can't talk. File, <laughs> folder. Why did I say file? Oh, so this is my first folder. Um, I have Visco, which is, it's a really, really like good app. I just use it for like filters, but sometimes I post things and I think it's just really, really cool. Uh, then I have Lightroom, which is an app that I used to use to edit my, I used to edit my stuff in Visco, like put the filter on. Then I would use to touch up the picture in Lightroom. Then I use Fonto. I use Fonto for my thumbnails. Basically, I would just like add a picture and then you can write text on top and you can like change it and curve it and stuff like that. I really like this app. Then I have YouTube and then I have YouTube Studio which basically just like tells me my demographics and like money made and who's watching my videos, my audience and all that stuff. Then I have Facetune too. Um, oh yeah, I use this to like basically up the vibrance in some of my pictures. Then I have Plan, which is, I talk about this app all the time whenever I film this video. I paid $9 for this, and it basically plans out your Instagram theme. You can like move things around. Well, then I have Pixar. I'm actually not really sure why I have that. Then I have Huji, which is basically like um, a disposable, disposable camera. And then I have Triller, which is very interesting, which is like a music video app. And then I have Video Editor. I also don't know why I have that app. Then I have Nomo which is like a um another like disposable camera it's really cool and then i have snapseed i never use this app in my entire life then i have this highlight cover app and this is really helpful for like instagram stories and like creating instagram story covers then i have reminders facetime wallet and then bank of america then i have my settings in <laughs> like 360 then I have my health folder, I have my Fitbit app, Clue, which is a really good like menstrual cycle uh, tracker. And it basically predicts like your periods and like you can like enter in all your symptoms and stuff like that. And then I have Runkeeper, which is what I use to track cross country miles and stuff. Then I have Stocard, which is an app where you can, um, hang on, let me grab my keys. Basically, if you have a ton of like these um, keychain things, that you like scan in different places on your keys and you want them all in like one place or you, you're tired of like carrying them around, then Stocard, you can scan it and basically you just tap and you could just scan it there instead of like carrying it with you. Then I have the health app that actually comes with the phone. Now my next folder is food. I use this one a lot. I have tropical smoothie. Then I have Chick-fil-A and Starbucks. I haven't used the Starbucks app in a long time. Ever since tropical smoothie opened up pretty much right next to Starbucks. I haven't gone to Starbucks in so long. And then on the next page, I have Netflix, Pinterest, SCAD. I'm gonna make a video pretty soon about my college acceptance and where I'm going, what my plans are and stuff like that. But basically SCAD is a school that I'm going to and these are just the apps that they recommended me 
to get. And then I have Dote, which is a shopping app that's really convenient. I'm pretty sure like if you watch a lot of YouTube, you know that a lot of like beauty influencers and just like fashion influencers use this app. You can basically like save things to different folders and buy them and you could like see when they get marked down in price and it's really nice. Then I have Facebook, which I don't use a lot. I kind of just like check it if I'm bored or like my family. Because my family uses Facebook, so that's like the only reason why I have it. Then I have Twitter, Amazon, and the next folder I have are apps that I never use. They just come with the iPhone, but I'm too afraid to like delete them or my phone won't let me delete them. So they're just kind of chilling there. And then I have extras, which are apps that I like either like downloaded or that came with the phone that I sometimes use, but like sometimes don't use. So I have YOLO, which is like that anonymous like Snapchat thing. Get Upside, which is a way you can spend or save money or actually gain money. I don't know, but it's basically Basically, whenever you get gas, you can like choose a gas station before you go on this app and you can get like a percentage back of how much money you spent. Um, I've saved like two cents so far, but I always forget to use this app. Then I have Spotify. Ever since I got Apple Music, I basically totally forgot about Spotify. Then I have Ticketmaster, which I downloaded for fun whenever I got this phone. And then Messenger, so like Facebook Messenger. Maps, I use Google Maps. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. And then Safari and I use Google Chrome. So I'll also get to that in a minute. Um, then I have my school folder, which is disgusting. I have Google Translate, cause you know, the only way I can get through Spanish class. Edpuzzle, Google Classroom, Dropbox, PowerSchool, Hangout, Google Hangouts, and then Gmail. And then I have like kind of like my church folder, daily Bible verses, uh, my Bible app. I'm reading a lot of devotionals lately, so I use the Holy Bible app. Then I have Fuse, which is basically like this student organization that my um, church does and that's just their app and then my actual church's app and then I have GroupMe and that's just basically how because I help out with like middle school views I'm like a part of it so I'm in like this big group chat so we just use GroupMe and then my next folder is games this game is called I Peel Good and let me tell y'all it is fun okay it's not like that fun look you can like Peel stuff. What it, what fruit is this? What the heck? Oh my gosh. It's like so satisfying. A green bitter melon? Gross. And then I have Asphalt 9, Collect Cubes, Fortnite, and Mario Kart. So like I said, how we're gonna get to like Google Maps and all that. Um, we have on the very bottom the phone or calling app, whatever. Then I have Google Maps, Google Chrome, and then like Apple Music. Yeah, that's basically all that's on my iPhone. It's nothing fancy. I like nothing interesting at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's like kind of short and not really interesting at all, but I know a few of you guys wanted to see it. So if you do like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below what phone you had. I think I said that at the beginning of this video. Anyways, I will see you guys next week. Take it easy. Peace. Yeah, that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. She messed with the temperature. I wrote the song, but I am the messenger. The metropolis, there is no stopping this. Flowers and kisses, yeah. I heard you like chocolate.